What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another quick tutorial for you. Last week I released a green screen tutorial that showed you how to record, set up, and edit green screen stuff, but I wanted to go over one specific thing inside of that tutorial, and that's how to get rid of this stuff. This usually happens when you have too much motion blur in your footage when you're recording yourself against a green screen. So like if you're recording at 24 frames per second and your shutter angle is set to 180 degrees or your shutter speed is set to 50, then you're going to get that cinematic motion blur. But that's actually really hard to key out in post-production. But with this method, you can make that look much more normal and passable for green king. So let's jump right to it. Now just be aware, Vegas doesn't have this plugin naturally like other video editors do. Now we know DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro do have this, which is color curves, and Vegas does not. So you will have to use a third party plugin like Grade Color Curves to do this inside of Vegas. Grade Color Curves is not free, but it is worth the price. So let's go ahead and jump right into Vegas. All right, so we're in Vegas 18, and this can be done in any version of Vegas as long as you have Grade Color Curves. So I have my footage where I shot in 24 frames per second at 180 degree shutter angle, giving me motion blur on my fingers. I'm not going to go through the process of explaining how I'm keying this out. That's in the last video. I'll link that in the description below, but we're going to go ahead and key out the green. Now when you do that, in the motion blur, you're going to see green sections right here. I'll zoom in for you so we can see that hand. And there we go. So we're going to want to get rid of that. So go into color curves and let's go to the HSY menu. Then we're going to disable everything but the hue. Now take your color selector and select the greenest part, whatever you think is the greenest. So I'm thinking, you know, somewhere around, that looks pretty green to me. Now take the color selector tool again and select the color of your hand. Once you're done with that, create a point at the very end by double clicking on your line or however you do it in your software. And now select them all and we're gonna make them linear. Make sure your plugin is enabled by checking the box. And we're gonna select our green point and we're gonna drag it down towards in the exact same spot that this skin tone point is, but diagonally downwards. So we're gonna take the green point, drag it down, and it looks like it's pretty much on the same point, really close, and look what it does. It magically turns the green into the same color as your skin. A cool thing about this method is that it also turns all of the green that's around you, let's say there's some green around your arm or whatnot, it's gonna turn that into your skin color as well. Now another thing about this is that it erases green tint that is bound to happen anytime you're green screening with any kind of brightness. The green's just going to reflect and just spill over your entire scene. And we can witness that in the vector scope. So I'm going to open this up. And so we have our skin on the skin tone line right here in the 117 mark. And if we uncheck it, you'll notice that there's a lot more green. So look carefully at the face. We got green. And we check it. It takes away all that green. The almost sickly looking green. Perfect skin tone. Sickly green, perfect skin tone. So not only do you get to correct the color of this blur, you get to actually correct your skin tones and make them perfect on your green screen footage, along with cleaning up the outline or any kind of remnants of green that's gonna be around the rest of your subject. This can work with any color you're keying out, but I just wanted to show you the example on green. If we zoom back out, we now see our great key. And there you have it. You now know how to fix that blurry stuff to make it look a little bit better than just weird green or gray. If this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.